One of my absolute favorite people, it's Matt Bronger. That's you, Matthew. That's me. Matthew Bronger. Yep. Did your father yell Matthew when he was mad at you? No, my mother did. My mom found out, I think, when I was, she always thought I was named after the saint, but she found out when I was like three. My dad was like, I always liked uh, Marshall Matt Dillon on Gunsmoke, so. You were named after Gunsmoke? He's named after TV Cowboy. <laughs> Matthew, I know you from Chicago Town. Yes. Ye old Chicago Town. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you're not from there. You're from the Portland state. Yes, I am. Of Oregon. Yep. Portland City. That's right. Where they have donuts. With bacon in them. Is that true? Yeah. There's bacon donuts. There, yeah, it's a it's a bacon maple. You can get it at Voodoo, uh, donuts. Where uh, they used to have the Nyquil donut, but then the uh, I think the the Food and Drug Administration was like, uh, hell, uh no, no. <laughs> You don't get to sell that. Clown story, yes. true or false. This is what I like to do. Sometimes I, I take a comedian, and it's funny ha-ha premises, and then we put them under the blinding light of truth and say, is it real? Absolutely real. One thing I, I left out for time was my friend Dan, who's my height, about 6'4", was dancing in the bar with a girl. And the girl fell behind the bar, and she, as she fell, she grabbed his clown suit and took him with her, and he went sideways into a sliding beer cooler and shattered the whole glass, oh, shattered no. all of it. And the whole bar did a collective like, oh, like, he's dead. You know, we all were in our heads, we're like, this evening has, go has, has gone the horrible way, the wrong way. We'll always remember the time we watched our friend die. And as we wearing, a clown. As a clown, while we were wearing clown suits, right. we are to blame. And he did, <laughs> he did the classic, just popped up and was like, I'm okay. <laughs> And it was like Mardi Gras in the streets. There's no no bigger happiness burst of relief than, oh my God, he's dead. No, he's alive, he's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That would be a pretty great way to go. Yes. We were in Chicago at a, at a pretty exciting time together. We started we at a similar time mm -hmm. doing stand-up. We had mustaches. Right. <laughs> when you're in Chicago, if you don't have a mustache, get out. You're out. If you're able to grow a mustache, that in Dubai. I had I had a beard, but I had like a, a family ties dad beard. If you had a beard, I would w expect you to teach me life lessons. I had well, no, but it was it's one of those it was one of those weird things. It made me look way older than I was, and but I was still wearing like t-shirts and shorts. Yeah, Christian youth leader kind of thing. Yeah. Like why why did you have a rainbow beard? strap? <laughs> Let's play some shine, Jesus shine. Here's a guitar. Did you go to youth group? No. Well, I was tricked into going for a weekend once. I went to uh, to get a girl to notice me. No. Who was in the church group, yeah. You went because you had a crush on one of the Christian girls. And they showed a video of a guy lying to be in a church because he <laughs> wanted to sleep with a girl. I was like, I'm not kidding. I was in it like, <laughs> wait. That's perfect. How did you know? Yeah, it was The guy kind of looks like you. He was like, hi, I'm Pat Nonger. <laughs> I sure do want to have sex with a girl. Oh, yeah, I believe in your Lord. No one will know. Later, Matt was damned to hell. <laughs> Everybody calls me the Corrupter. I don't know where I got the nickname. <laughs> Just catchy. This looks like the Corrupter. That one, yeah. This, that, this you know what the idea for that came from 70s albums where a guy is just in the middle of the woods wearing a pristine suit and you're like, how the hell did you get there? It's called Shovel Fighter. Yes. It's based on a bit I do where I basically say the worst job I ever had, which is true, was when I worked in a greeting card store because it's so boring. <laughs> you stare into the abyss and the abyss stares back. But then I'd, I'd say, I'd cut myself off and be like, no, 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 wait. No, I lied. The worst job I ever had was when I was a shovel fighter in the Ukraine. <laughs> and then I'd, I'd go in a story about how I'd, I had to fight people to death with a shovel and I'm starving <laughs> and the warlord makes me kill my best friend that drew something in the sand to make me happy and I cut his head off and I start crying on stage. And it's one of those jokes that either crushes or people are like, oh, oh no. Welcome to Ukraine. Carpenter or fight with shovel? <laughs> Your choice. Your choice. Is, is either one. We land of opportunity too. But there is no third job. No third job. No you third. want to meet guy, ask for a third job? That's Those it. guys we hit with the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> then go home and sleep in house carpenter made. Oh, Ukraine. Poor, poor Eastern Europeans. <laughs> they just, oh, so stereotyped. And soak up the night, which I have several times. Look how serious you are. That was You're so mad. That's that's me making fun of the rock star comedian idea, because <laughs> I think we're all goofs, and I think anyone who's just like anyone who gets on stage and does you know an hour of of, of D jokes and whatever, and then gets off and is just like yeah. 
<laughs> You're like, really? The attitude headshot? You're a clown. Yeah. You're a clown with a honking nose. Matthew Bronger. Matt Bronger, everybody. Check out his new album, Shovel Fighter. Get his old album, Soak Up the Night. A real pleasure, you Thanks, fake Christian. Man. I love you very much. I love you too, man.